Hi girls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to show you girls my brand new handbag. It is going to be the perfect bag for summer 2024. The reason I say this, well there's several reasons why I say this, but just the functionality, the overall style, and just the size of this bag is just, it is so adorable and I can't wait for you to see her. So for those of you who've watched any of my videos previously, you know that we are taking a big trip this summer, 2024. I, I never said where we were going, I just said Europe, but the trip is booked and I can officially say we are going to Italy for two weeks this summer. I am so excited, we've never been there. We've never taken a big trip like this before as a family. It's been a lot of planning, but I am relieved to say that I've got almost everything completely booked. But the one thing that I was missing in my wardrobe was a cute, small, functional purse to bring with me on my trip. And girls, I found it. So without further ado, let's take a look at this little cutie. Here she is. Ugh, isn't she adorable? Like, ugh. I just saw her and I was like, stop. <laughs> stop. It's the Cassandra Binny top handle. And she is not from this year. I believe she came out last year because the sales associate at the YSL Boutique at the Neiman Marcus. If you live in the Chicagoland area, there is a YSL Boutique inside Neiman Marcus at the Oak Brook Mall. And that is where I was just perusing, looking for a small, I thought I wanted, okay, what I thought I was there for was a small wallet on chain so that I could just pop my credit card, my ID, and still have room for my phone. But just something very, very small crossbody for just traveling around Europe and not getting pickpocketed, right? <laughs> and so I was in the boutique. Uh, the sales associate there was super helpful. She was trying to like figure out what I tried on, probably 30 bags. And finally, I could tell she was just like stumped because every time I was just like, well, but I don't know if this is like the perfect, like the one, right? And then she went in her little back room and she's like, well, she's like, I have, she's like, I have this bag and you might not like it, but I took it to Hawaii um, over the winter and I got so many compliments on it and I just thought it was like the cutest, most functional little bag. She's like, but it's from last season. I'm like, let's take a look. And she brought this out and I was like, that's it. It's the one, <laughs> the one. So the reason I say that is because the leather on this is so, so nice and soft and supple, but it's a dark leather. So you're not going to have to worry about it getting like spotted or being super careful with it. And then this raffia is super tough. I mean, you're not going to, you know, maybe have to worry about staining, just like wipe it off right away. Um, and then the beautiful gold hardware with the YSL. So let's take a look at the back. It has a cute little slip pocket back here. Not big enough to put your phone in. I did try that, but it doesn't fit. <clears throat> but the reason why I thought this was the perfect bag for traveling is because it has the crossbody, which I know, I know. Everyone's saying crossbodies are so out in 2024. Guess who doesn't care? Me. <laughs> I still love a good crossbody. I love being hands-free. And especially with a small little bag like this, I think it's just perfect for summertime. Going to events, going into the city where you need to have, you know, your essentials, but still be comfortable and do a lot of walking. A crossbody is perfect for that. But what's perfect about this bag is that it's got this adjustable strap here. So you could put it on this length or this length, or there's a third length you could select. I have it right now just on the middle length. 
you could undo this strap completely and then you have a cute little top handle bag to wear in the evening like if you wanted to have a more a little bit more fancy of an evening look um, for like a summertime soiree how cute is this just take off the crossbody and boom you have a really chic looking top handle bag so I will show you here how I'm going to style her I do have some um, items coming from Abercrombie that I'm excited to style with this bag and I will show you all of that. Another reason why this bag is perfect for going to Italy is because everyone talks about the pickpockets, the pickpockets. I know if you're going to be in Rome, you might be around a, a big touristy clump of people. That's not my vibe. So we are only going to sp spend a little time in Rome in the touristy areas and then we're getting the heck out of town. <laughs> But the reason I love this is that it is super hard to even know. I didn't even know how to get into it. The sales associate had to show me there's a trick. You have to push the L in the YSL to the side and then this Y pops up and then you can get into it. So if you don't know how to get into this bag, really good luck <laughs> because I could not figure it out. So let's take a look inside. There are two compartments and then a little envelope back pocket back there and it says YSL but let's talk about what fits inside so if you have a full-size wallet it's not going to fit in here however I'm going to show you that I do have um, like a small zippy wallet that one's going to fit in there no problem along with um, here's probably what I'll carry is just like a card holder so that one can fit in there um, an iPhone 12 fits in there, some sunglasses, your keys, a couple lipsticks. You know, you can see there's still some room down in there. Um, I probably won't overstuff mine because I'll just have like my passport and a card holder, my sunglasses and my phone. That's probably it. Um, cause it will get kind of heavy the more stuff you put in it, but because this is all raffia, it is kind of a lightweight bag. So I do love that. So I will link this bag down below. I do know that I got the last one in the whole company because I said I wanted to think about the bag and I took a walk around the store. I told her, I'm like, I'm gonna go look for some shoes upstairs. I'll come back, I'm gonna think about it. Well, I was up looking at shoes and she comes running up and she's like, Emily, I just wanted to let you know, this is the last bag, not only at our store, but in the whole company. So she's like, I was looking in their system and she's like, if you really want this bag, this is the last one. So I didn't want you to lose out on it. So of course then that just made up my mind then and there. I was like, no, this is the perfect bag for me. And I am so glad that I snagged it. I did pop it on with these cute little Sam Edelman Raffia slides with the little pearl details. I just picked these up from Nordstrom. They did come in my size, which, you know, I have, I have a big foot. I wear a size 11. So Sam Edelman does come in that size. And I just love they have a little bit of that brown leather there, which I thought looked really good with this bag. So I am on the lookout. Um, today is my day off. I will be going to the store just to see if I can find another pair of sandals that just like have the same sort of like saddle brown leather. Um, just something with a low heel that I can wear when we're in Italy, um, something very comfortable. So I also did want to undress the elephant in the room. I have not made a video since January of this year. <laughs> I've taken a little bit of a break. Um, so for those of you who are new to my channel, hi, I'm Emily. And um, for those of you who are coming back, thanks for coming back. Sorry, I've been gone for a few months. Um, but I have been a little bit on a health journey. I did take a pause from YouTube and from Instagram um, just to focus really on my health. And um, I have lost 20 pounds since then. So if I look a little different, um, that's why. If you're interested in more of like healthy, like lifestyle weight loss tips, I am gonna be starting a new series every Wednesday. I'm gonna come out with a video. Um, we're gonna call it Wellness Wednesdays. <laughs> we're gonna be corny and call it something. 
Um, so if you are interested, check out my Wednesday video. And thank you so much to all of you for watching my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.